Hello all you fellow new scratchers. Welcome to the YTP Plus Scratcher tutorial on how to use it. First up is this project. It's, and you need to grab those. You need to get them the pack which is right here. And you click on download and and then after this download you have this archive right here open that up and extract this to your desktop but you have to call it you can name this YTP plus scratch once that's done you want to get the FFmpeg Essentials build. You have to download it right here. And when you do this, you'll have you open the archive, open the bin folder, and you'll grab these two. Then you gotta want to put it in your YTP plus scratch directory. Oh and of course the videos you download from YouTube put them right there then you want to and next is to grab your video file which one is it grab your video files start from here you're gonna Click on add, then paste your video file name, and then you want to calculate it with FF Probe. In that case, paste it in. And you'll get your length in seconds. So 57.9. Now I'm going to repeat this for the rest of those videos. Okay, when that is done, you have, I have my videos filled out. And let me adjust the aspect to 69. I'll set the height to 360. And I'll adjust that clip count to 30 for testing. And I'll change my max stream duration to 1. And check all your settings include if you want your effects on. By the way, if you don't download the pack, you're going to want to disable random sound, dance, and distort. And the transition clips. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to install Image Magic to get Squidward working. So, I'm going to go to the Windows binary. I'm gonna look for the 16 bits per pixel version of the installer. Right here. Of course, Image Mac is need to be installed for Squidward, I mean, Distort to work. Make sure it's in your system path. When that's done, by the way, if you forgot to install the magic, you're going to want to turn distort off. Oh, set your settings, Orange. I'll double check my settings. Then you want to click render it, and a list will appear on the left. By the way, you can't save in the project viewer, so all you have to do is go to the editor, right click on the list. And click export then you're gonna want to save this as p plus dot bat
Oops. Then you you get a one that says the file's unsafe, so we want to keep it by the way. It's safe by the way. And now you have your file right here, so now you're gonna run it. And this might take some time. While it's going, you have your temporary videos right here. And there goes your final result. It's combining those temporary videos into a single output file. Now when it's done, you'll have your video right here as output time 4. Let's view it. The result. And there you go, there's your video. And you guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, drop me a comment if you need help. And if you And that's it for this tutorial. If you f have any questions, feel free to drop a comment for me. And happy YTPing!